Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so today we will be making keys, we will be modeling keys. Uh, I, my name is Robbie, so I'm going to walk you through, we're going to model together. So, let's start by first, uh, this is the object that we are going to make, so we'll go to, we'll, we'll just bring up the four views then fit them so these are the keys that we're going to make today so to start with i'm going to a new layer center everything so i got an image of my key my door key just recently so i can bring up that image so that i can see so that i can reference to it so the first thing i'll do is i'll push d on the keyboard display options um then i'll go here come here to uh, backdrop then on backdrop i want my uh my back view or should i say my top view to have an image the image that i'm going to of my key that i'm going to to make so uh i'll bring up that image come here by image then uh, that is my image there so if you don't have the image you can just load it by clicking load the image since i already have it uh, i just click on it here so i can enlarge the size of the object by coming here uh, so i can say maybe five and it will show up then you can increase the size of the object you know you can check out uh these these values like if you change this it will move the other side and the other so just try these things out but for now since we've imported the image we cancel we say fit a on the keyboard then um i'll get i'll go to create here on top uh get a disk zoom in to my key then try to fit my disk size to this key head so okay so i have that okay i have that okay so <coughs> um I will increase the depth of my object here on the back. Just increase it a little bit, just like that. Space on the keyboard to deselect. Zoom in some more. Then come to modify on drag. Get the drag tool. This drag tool, you can use it to, uh, to move points one by one. To fit them to where you want them to be so okay i think that's good enough so since i'm done with that i'll come here rotate space on the keyboard to deselect my tool select make sure you're on polygon select the face the first face delete that one uh, go down the other face delete it as well then go to multiply here if you are using 11.6 or 11.5 these tools are there in some versions they are not available so they put some tools like uh, thicken for example we we'll use this one then we'll thicken this to that size okay so space to deselect we'll get we'll go back to modify get the drag to then start moving the points to where we want them to be Okay, so as you can see, 
already have that shape of my key okay so space on the keyboard to deselect the next thing I want to do is uh, create this oh let me zoom out just a little bit there is make this part of the key so here I've got a simple method of how to do this go to create get a disk then on a disk we have to figure out which side is this side so as you can see I think it's this side it's this side on the right side so just um, make sure we have the that put it like that and try to fit it like that zoom it a little bit just you know I can't see very well but I can tell where the key ends so just move it like that inwards just like that then um, make sure it looks round just not even anyway round or as long as it fits into the the, the head the first part we made so drag it all the way here so that it goes into the head of the key okay so it's like that okay so we are happy with this the space on the keyboard come here at the end okay it looks like I didn't reach the far end come here to points select these points T on the keyboard to move or modify move we have it there as well so you can move that up to the end of the key so like that so we need to make this thing look a bit roundish so what we'll use here is we'll use a bevel tool space on the keyboard deselect um, come to polygon mode select the end of that come here to modify then we've got a uh, oh to multiply sorry bevel tool here you click then you drag with your left mouse button so you do that okay click your your right mouse button then your left again then drag okay so I think we have it there oh, just like that I think we have it space then question mark to deselect okay so if I push A on the keyboard to center we already have part of a key okay so we keep going the last part the last piece of the, the key we come here we say uh, get a go to create get a box fit this in into the box just like that like that okay <clears throat> okay maybe just pull it in a little bit then thicken it maybe to that level like that so on the keyboard you use your your arrow keys to make divisions to divide the divisions of this of this object so make sure you are, make sure you put your mouse button on top here on the top view side when we are done deselect then um, come here select if we change this to texture wired we can see the the lines so we need one line to cut through right here so what we can use there is we can use a knife come here select then cut through with our knife okay we like that space to deselect then select one two uh three going down like that then even the other side just one two three yeah on the keyboard now you can push 
um, uh, e for extender or you can find it <coughs> on multiply multiply then extender it's here so we click it then we get stretch the stretching tool modify stretch push down control on the keyboard then drag your mouse button oh no looks like extender didn't work very well we have to push that button again then try it now okay so uh it didn't work the first time because I didn't push it very well the button on the keyboard then so I dragged then you get the move to then just move it to a position where you want it to be so you can zoom in so that we see where where it's fitting just there okay that looks good already I love that space question mark to deselect then zoom out so um I think this is good. This is good. Let's see it in texture. Ah, look, we have a key there. Okay, so now what we need is the um, we need the texture now. We need to put the texture of the key there. So here's how to do that now. You come here to texture, texture of the key, come here where it's written none click say new texture then on texture the texture name we can say it's a key then the map type we'll use planar for now don't change anything else just make sure this is on y axis this is on automatic settings and come down to say create okay so we've created a uv map what we call uv map so you can cancel that you come here to the top view uh where it's written top here just click then come here where it says uv texture so we have that push a on the keyboard to fit it okay so that is our key but on top so we can bring in the image you click here on top so here i have the image as i said if you didn't load it you can load it there so what we want here is to fit this key into that into this object so we'll push straight we'll look for 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 our stretching tool right here then stretch it to the point where it fits our key so we'll push a on the keyboard to fit again remember it always fit what the object that you have then you get the move to move it okay So now that we've done that let's give our key a color so we'll come here to change surface click there what is the name of your surface we'll name it key then make sure smoothing is on um, come here then just give it any color gray doesn't matter then say okay so we've got that then come here to surface editor on key so this is our this is our our uh, color that we just made so this is the one so on color here notice you can change the color here of the key that you want you can change it to blue whatever you want but instead of changing that I'll come here to the little T instead of uh, you can see all this instead of you come to projection instead of planar we get uv we click on uv then it asks me what is your uv maps name and i'll tell it it's key remember we just named it key at the corner here then what image do you want to use so my image is already loaded here so i can click on that image and voila we have our key look at that already fit it in um, 
So, to get two of those keys, just copy paste. If you want, I can show you that. Copy paste. Then that is Control C, Control V to paste. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Then um, come to modify. Just say rotate. Come here to rotate. Then just rotate this around like that. Then come here to move. Then move it over. Just put it there. Then here, remember we changed this to UV map. You can change it back to top now that we are done with that. Then just come here, rotate. Then we can just rotate it a little bit, just like that. Move it a little bit. Okay, we are done. Space. And question mark to deselect. So here are the keys okay thank you guys thanks for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe uh see you next time